Hi, this is Adam with PhotoNerdsUnite.com and today I want to show you how to add highlights with the radial filter inside of Lightroom. Alright, today I have a really cool trick for you and basically what we're going to do is add highlights to add depth and dimension and interest to this photograph but we're going to add these highlights using only the radial filter inside of Lightroom. So let's jump in. We've got an image here. I've already made some adjustments to it. Here's a quick before. You can see it was really hazy. There's definitely a lot of atmosphere going on. What I did was add some contrast, use a dehaze slider to cut through all of that. But now what I want to do is go in and start to add more visual interest to this photograph using the radial filter. So what we're going to do is head on up to the radial filter and we're going to select it and we're going to start by making a new filter. And so to, to use this filter, all you really need to do is click and drag. Okay. And clicking and dragging, I can make the shape of this circle any shape that I want. And once I let it go, you'll notice that I have some pivot points here and I can move these points in or out depending on the desired result that I'm going for. And if I hover on the outside of any one of these pins, I also get the ability to kind of rotate this circle left or right so that I can get more of an angle at it. That looks pretty good. And if I want to see what's being affected, I just hit the letter O and the red part is going to show me what's being affected. So in this case, everything on the outside of the circle would be affected. But what I want to do is affect only the inside of the circle. So I'm going to change this by clicking on the invert mask and that's going to flip this backwards so that now the only part that's being affected is the inside. So what I want to do is expand this so that it covers all of the waterfall in general. And once I have it where I like it, I'm going to hit O so that goes away, that overlay goes away. And now what I'm going to do is pull the highlights up on this as well as the whites up just so that I get a little bit more interest in that water, maybe even add a little bit of clarity. That looks pretty good. Now what I'm going to do is go and choose to make a new radial filter and I'm just going to repeat the process. Just make a little circle and I can drag this around and put it anywhere that I want. I'm going to hit the letter O so I can see where this is being applied and again it's backwards. So again I'm going to invert the mask and now I can see that it's being affected on the inside. That's what I want and I'll hit O again so that that overlay goes away. So again from here I can move this around anywhere I want and here's where we start shaping and sculpting this photograph to get what we want. There's some beautiful color happening just on the outside of this waterfall. What I want to do is accentuate that by pulling up the highlights in on that that, maybe pull the shadows up and maybe even add a little bit of exposure and then I'm going to add a little bit of color warmth so if I go to temperature and pull the color up on that that looks pretty good and basically I'm just going to keep repeating this process around all the areas where I want to add some light and some interest another thing that I can do is actually duplicate a radial filter if I right click on the pin I can choose to duplicate and what that'll do is give me a secondary option so if I think that the settings that I'm going to be applying are relatively similar or the same, I don't need to go through that whole thing all over again. I can just duplicate it and then move this around to anywhere that I want. Maybe adjust the circle, maybe rotate it, shorten it up so that I just apply the light exactly where I want it. In this case, I want a nice little kiss off the top of this water here. That looks pretty good. And I'm going to duplicate it and move it down maybe to this side of the water, tighten this up, shorten that down maybe pull the exposure back on this one just a hair and then duplicate it again. So with every one that I duplicate, I'm basically just shaping more and more and more of this image, adding just a little bit more interest to special certain parts of the photograph. Now I can do this exact same thing to darken down areas and add more interest that way. So if I'm going to make a new adjustment, hit O, you can see it's backwards. So I'm going to invert it. I'm going to bring this up in this this area here just so that I can darken down some of this side of the photograph. So I'm going to pull the exposure down just a little bit, maybe pull my highlights up and maybe again add a little bit of warmth to that side and maybe add some contrast for a little bit more punch. That looks pretty good. And maybe duplicate this ring to do the same thing at the top of the waterfall 
in this area here. Now on this one, I don't want the exposure to be so dark, so I'm gonna lift it back up, maybe pull my contrast back. So every single one of these circles is completely adjustable. So you get the point here. You could continue making as many circles as is relevant to your photograph. I've made quite a bit, and if you wanted to just see the before and after of what these adjustments have done, let me turn off these pins so you can get a better idea of what that looked like. So here's before, and here's after, before and after. Really, really cool trick. You go ahead and give it a try. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. As always, thank you for your support. Subscribe to our channel, and we'll catch you in the next episode.